They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you're royal, you're rebel, you're more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. Hey, this salad totally reminds me. We're having a sale at the Glass Slipper. How does salad remind you of... You're cute. So who wants to go shopping after school? Sure, I'm in. Oh, I can't, because I entered the Royals beauty pageant, but I didn't want to tell you guys because I thought you'd think it's silly, but I love celebrating being awesome, empowered girls. Oh, it's not silly, Cedar. I say go for it. Bigger smile, Ms. White. Bigger, Ms. Beauty. Cheshire big, Ms. Wood. My cheeks are hurting. Beauty is not always pretty. Oh, these shoes are so uncomfortable. How are we supposed to walk in them? Huh? Whoa! Gracefully, my dear. For the debate portion of the pageant, the topic will be, why is looking good more important than, well, anything? Well, yeah, wait just a splinter. I thought this pageant was about what it means to be a beautiful girl. Not painful shoes. Not silly smiles. Real stuff. Like being smart and graceful and... Whoa! And, and the beauty inside of us. She's right. Apple, I'm... Well, I'm sorry for what I said at the rehearsal. Why? You told the truth. You made me realize the pageant doesn't celebrate what being beautiful is really all about. So what can we do? We reinvent the contest. You mean like change the debate? Make it about being awesome, empowered girls? Isn't that where real beauty comes from? True beauty means living every day at our best and never forgetting that each of us is special in our own enchanting way. That was beautiful. Does our judge have a winner? I've thought long and hard, and now choose me. <laughs> you can't be serious. There are definitely more rebels at Ever After High than royals. Want to bet? What about Apple White? She upholds royal tradition while always being the fairest of them all. Sure, but Rebel Raven Queen happens to be rewriting her destiny. Well, Briar Beauty is a royal through and through. Cerise Hood, total rebel. Blondie Locks, Ash Lanella. Cedarwood, Hunter Huntsman. Holly O'Hare. Ah, uh, Poppy O'Hare. Excuse you, down here, it's me. Yes, what about Kitty Cheshire? She's kind of hard to categorize. Kitty? Uh, well, she's obviously a rebel. Kitty Cheshire is a royal. You know what? Let's just watch Kitty, shall we? And we'll see that she's a rebel. Royal. That's Kitty playing on the royal croquet team. I'm right. Uh-uh, but mixing things up, that's pretty rebellious. <laughs> well, there she is having tea with Duchess Swan, who is a royal. In Madeline Hatter's very rebellious Wonderland tea shop, and look, only a rebel would cause this kind of trouble in class. Being mischievous is Kitty following her story, which all good royals do. Hey, Kitty. <laughs> Can I ask you something? See, the narrators have been watching you, and... And they want to know if I'm a royal or a rebel. She knew? Oh, no fair. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell them, but where's the fun in that? Chaos is keeping people guessing, and that makes this kitty purr. <laughs> Time for a cat nap. I'm confused. Are there more rebels or royals? Um, hey, there's Duchess Swan. Total royal. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, what about Madeline Hatter herself? You can't get any more rebellious than that. Am I right, or am I right? I'm right. Come on, Sparrow. Give me a real challenge. I'm betting you can't get a date with the next girl that walks through that door. Oh, you are on. What are we betting? How about loser has to wash the winner's gymnastics uniform after swamp swimming? Ooh. Done. Lizzie Hart? Good luck with that one. The usual, my good barista, and the same for the lady. Off with the phone! 
Would these flowers change your mind? I grew them using the light from my teeth. Ah! I got this. <laughs> Check it out. I painted this just now. Am I charming or what? No, you're not. Well, actually, I am charming. You know, because it's my last name. Oh, Lizzie! What? I thought that you might enjoy a tour of the castle. On Dragonback? What? <laughs> you gotta admit that that was pretty spectacular. Is something wrong? I would go out with you, but I've never been on a date before. Well, all those things that we did today, that was pretty much a date. But that was quite lovely. Maybe you'd like to do it again sometime. Can we keep this a secret? Future Queen of Hearts, I've kind of got a crazy rap going. Uh, sure, yeah, uh, I, w I won't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's right! Scrub it good for Sparrow Hood! The path of love is never straight. Well, it was until people started choosing their own stories. Oh, you must admit, this is much more interesting. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Hey, Ashlyn. What's up with the urgent text message? Is every... Shh! <gasps> Sorry, Cedar, but I need help. We need help. Uh, Hunter? Shh, I'm not Hunter. I'm a Gunter. Gunter Gunsman. Is this about your guy's secret relationship? Shh, yes, it is about that. Duchess knows, and she's gonna spell it out for the whole school. We don't know what to do. Well, I always find it's best to tell the truth. You're right, Cedar. Gunter Gunsman. I got a triple mint hocus latte for Gunter Gunsman. <laughs> Over here. I got party supplies. See you, Cupid. Oh, I'm Cupid. That's me. Uh, just sign here. Party <gasps> supplies? Uh, yes. Party supplies. Um, for our play. And what exactly is the name of this play? It's a... Uh, mm. <laughs> it's called The Play That Almost Was And Then Wasn't But Then Was mm. Very well <gasps> I don't know, Duchess It is a bomb spell, but... Ash and Hunter are my friends. If you don't report on it, someone else will. <gasps> no! They can't own it! Now I'll never get my happily ever after! Oh, hey, Duchess! <laughs> Ashlyn, <gasps> you and Hunter are, are dating? But, but, but you're a royal! A royal dating a rebel? That's just not how the tale is told. She followed her true heart, which is kind of what True Heart's day is all about. So, fellow fairy tales, Blondie Locks here to give you reaction to the royally rebellious romance. I think it's excellent. <laughs> Ashlyn and Hunter decided to rewrite their destinies. What's wrong with that? Oh. <gasps> I feel for them. I mean, keeping secrets is hard. <laughs> a royal and a rebel? <laughs> They're from two different worlds. I am trying to do an interview here. I'm worried about Ashlyn and Hunter. If they don't follow their destinies, their books could close forever. 
Remember our quiz tomorrow on tiara size and future neck problems. Apple, we have to talk. Ash, this is hard for me. Which is a first because I usually handle everything so very well. I know. I'm just so surprised you didn't trust me enough to tell me. I didn't think you'd understand. I guess I don't. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't want to see anything bad happen to someone I care so much about. And so you're telling me all these heart-shaped cakes are for your play. Yep. For the play. You know it. They're, they're for that really funny scene where uh, Briar throws them at Hopper. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. It's such a funny scene. I just wind up and... <laughs> Very well. Duchess, what do you want? What do I want? My own happily ever after, of course. And now that everyone knows that you're dating a rebel... It looks like there's one available. No glass slipper for you. <laughs> so you're happy about Hunter and I dating while my best friends aren't? Maybe I did make a mistake. What? No! You're totally doing the right thing. Follow your heart and all that sappy stuff. Sorry, I'm saving this for Ashlyn. Hey, Ashlyn! Ahem. <clears throat> Hunter, we need to talk. Uh, Ashlyn? I just... I thought this would be a good thing, showing everyone we were dating. I thought it would take the pressure off, but now, everything is worse. What are you saying? My friends are upset. I don't know what's going to happen to our stories. Yeah, but... Hunter, I don't want anything bad to happen to us. To you. I think... I think we should break up. Feeling like a different ending Sometimes you gotta find it on your own It's an open